So the Canon 35 1.2 RF is coming up. But what if I were to tell you there's an option, a uh, cheap one, uh, 35 full frame 1.2. Stick around. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. So what do we know about the Canon 35mm 1.2 RF? <sighs> don't be crazy expensive. And I don't know about you guys, but I sure don't have a hundred million bucks lying around. So what are our options? Well, I have one option for you right here. And this is the Curly 35. 1.2 full frame lens for EF. And that for me is really good because I use it with uh, the Mikey ND adapter, which makes it almost like I have uh, internal NDs. And uh, I got this lens for really, really cheap. And the picture quality is really, really gorgeous. You see it quite a lot on my channel. Uh, I've been filming with it. I created a playlist down below, which I'll link, which has all the films that I've, I've shot with it. The construction of this lens is, it's a fully metal lens. Uh, so there's nothing really to break. Uh, you have no autofocus that's going to uh, make, make any sort of problems with it. You have a aperture wheel here as well. Uh, right now I have it unclicked, but you can also de-click it, which makes it really good for video work. I usually film on 1.2, which I think is the main uh, approach to this lens. The picture quality is, uh, if you step it down, it gets really, really sharp. If you use it wide open, like I do, you get sort of like a dreamy, little bit hazy look. It reminds me a little bit of uh, some vintage lenses. It has some character. It has some really nice flares to it as well. But it's a little bit more modern look than, uh, than my Canon FDs for sure. But you can use it however you want. And I think for portraiture work, you can get some really artistic frames with this lens. So what do I think? Uh, would I recommend this lens uh, for video makers or photographers? Certainly for video makers. Uh, this is a gorgeous lens. That 1.2 aperture is uh, really fantastic and it blows uh, everything away in the background if you want to use it like that. For photographers, yeah, absolutely. If you're fine with manual focusing, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous lens. And the build quality is just fantastic. It, this one will last uh, quite a long time, I think. So keep an eye out. You can find these lenses for quite cheap nowadays and it's a good really good value for for your money and if you like this type of content please uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell it lets me know that you like it and i will try to make more of it please check out the playlist that i made uh, with all the films i've been using this lens on uh, you will see some character and some how the the bokeh looks uh, and how i go about in using a lens like this I'll see you around and take care. Bye-bye.